Today I got my COVID-19 vaccine. And so for me, it's pretty exciting. We've gone through a lot to get here. And this is a, a shot of hope for some normalcy in the near future. For everyone to get vaccinated means it's, it's for the greater good when you look at it. It's not just protecting me, it's protecting everyone that I'm around. You know, I have an elderly mom. Um, I haven't seen her in almost a year. I haven't seen my son in a year. He lives in Colorado. I guess one of the fortunate ones, we've only lost one family member to COVID. There's folks out there who've lost so much more than that. And in order for that to, to diminish, and get back to normalcy, we have to vaccinate. It, it's almost a personal and, and public responsibility in my eyes. I know there are gonna be many that are saying no way, but at some point, I hope they change their minds. I've done several roles in this response for COVID-19. I initially ran what was called rapid response teams which was an assembly of about 40 individuals that would respond to skilled care facilities on long-term care facilities. When there would be one or two cases within those facilities, my teams would go in and educate um, all the staff on how to cohort patients, how to don and doff their PPE. They would mask N95 mask fit test everyone. And so then I moved on to what we call the fixed testing sites now. So I have six fixed testing sites throughout the county where we will do COVID-19 testing, PCR testing um, for the community. We have specifically embedded in certain communities trying to reach the most vulnerable and encourage them to come out and get tested. We don't test for people who want to travel. We don't test for people who need to go back to work. We do provide them education and guidance as to how to approach those and where they might go to get testing for that. So a lot of what we do, yeah, it's doing a nasal swab, but we're also educating at the same time. You know, it's, it's been challenging. You know, on one side with the long-term care population, there are those that just didn't believe that this was a real thing. You know, many of them are just working for a living wage and they work in multiple places to just put food on their table. And so when we would say, no, you can't go to your next stop to work, that had a financial impact to people. And that was something that didn't go unrecognized by us. And we actually found some facilities said, we're gonna take care of our folks and provided them some supplemental income so that they wouldn't go to the next place. Most recently at some of the testing sites, people are so anxious for testing because they're sick and they have to wait. And they get out of their cars and say, I'm sick, I'm this, I'm that, and it's, I get it. If you're that sick, you need to go to a hospital. But if you just, if you're okay and you can wait for your test, then You've got to wait for your test. So it's hard. It's hard for people to understand that they have to wait because there's such a demand for testing right now. And in all my years of being a nurse, going through different disaster um, situations, I never thought that pandemic would be something that we would be involved in. But here we are. For all the deaths, for all the people that have long-term sequela, from being ill, I don't know how you could say this isn't real. For them, it's not real because it hasn't hit home yet. And, and hopefully it, it won't. But for all the people that won't wear a mask, it's such a simple thing. Put on a mask. Think of yourself, think of your family. Think of everybody you're around in a grocery store. Everyone deserves that little moment of protection by wearing a mask.